Hi YouTube, uh, just this video I'm going to explain the difference between four circular saws, three cordless and one corded saw so you can sort of know the difference what, what does what and what you should and shouldn't buy. Um, for a homeowner, which probably most people watching this are, I, I would just say why are I OB18 volt cordless circular saw or a powered one. Um, both are going to do exactly the same job. One has a lot more power obviously. Um, the cord, corded saws are generally the cheapest. Um, otherwise, trade tradies are definitely going to want to either grab a Makita or the Bosch or a DeWalt or something, you know, a bit more high quality. Um, the Bosch one's got the most power of any cordless circular saw that you can probably buy. The DeWalt's got a 36 volt one and so is Makita, probably about the same. This is the first saw. It's an 18 volt uh, Black & Decker Firestorm saw. It's just a cheap thing. Um, it's not real solid, um, so you wouldn't use it every day, it's a bit slow and underpowered, but it's still a good saw if you're just a homeowner. As far as the battery goes, it's a 18 volt NICAD battery, which is not the greatest. Um, it has a memory effect, so if you recharge it, it, it has that little bit less every time you recharge it, and lacks a little bit of power, not a whole lot of difference, probably comparable to... Um, the Ryobi 18 volt system that's available now, it's probably the same type of saw. Here you can see it's starting to struggle a bit, it's quite a thick bit of timber. This is the second saw, it's a Makita 18 volt LXT uh, lithium ion battery uh, saw. I've only just recently picked this up and I'm really impressed with this saw. It's, it's not the most powerful of, of the saws I've got, but for portability, it's, it's lightweight, it's really heavy duty, cuts all day with the 3 amp hour batteries it came with. Um, I'm really happy with this saw. It's not my favourite, but it's, it's a very good saw if you just want something in the ute all the time, just to do little bits and pieces, you know, and you'd use it as a professional this saw. Um, batteries last ages. Yeah, anyway, great saw. This is the third saw, this is the Bosch 36-volt uh, lithium-ion saw. This is definitely my favourite of all the saws I've used. Um, it's got a 3 amp hour battery on it which gives it heaps and heaps of runtime. It's because it's 36-volt, it's got a, a lot more power than say an 18-volt saw. Um, a bit of difference between the Makita 18-volt and the 36-volt, I would rather use this. It's a bit heavier but gets a lot more done, uh, a lot more beer, heavier stuff. Um, nearly, it's probably 90% the power of a corded circular saw. It's not quite there. They, they say it is, but it's not quite. Um, you probably wouldn't notice the difference. I would use this over a powered saw any day of the week for any task. This is a powered Hitachi circular saw. It's probably what I'd recommend for a homeowner, either that or a Ryobi 18 volt saw. Um, the reason, I mean, they're obviously completely different stored saws, but the powered saws are very cheap and they give you maximum power. Um, but they've got a cord, which is a pain in the ass, tripping over cords and that. But if you're a homeowner, you're probably not going to worry about that sort of thing. Um, it's up to you whether you want to go cordless or not. This obviously got the most power. Still not my favourite. The Bosch is definitely my favourite of all the saws I've got. Um, and it, I mean, the Hitachi, Black & Decker, Ryobi, whatever powered saw you buy, it's probably going to be about the same in between brands.
Okay, well, there you go. Um, you've seen now what the different saws do, the, the power difference going from the, the real cheap one right up to the dear one. I hope you can make a decision based on that. Um, I'm probably going to get a bit of flack not wearing PPE and goggles and shoes and whatnot. Um, I'm a tradesman, professional. I do it all the time. Um, I wasn't looking over the blade, so I know which direction the timber is going to go. And as I said, I do it all the time, so I'm used to using the tools. Homeowners, wear goggles, wear shoes. If you're not used to doing it, um, even if you, it's always better to. I've had plenty of eye injuries. Um, anyway, I'll have a few more videos to, to follow. Thanks. Bye.